Hi everybody, I'm Arvazir and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Meiji. So, let's continue where we left off. I think we're going to declare war right now. There's not much point waiting any longer. Let's see if we can get Sweden to pay us. That would be nice. So, declare war on the Mongols. Yes, he would pay us. I think it's worth taking his gold. Alright, let's see how much gold he's going to give us. Probably around 300. Which is pretty good. Okay, 300 exactly. 250. 200. 200 is fine. Okay. That's good enough, I'll take it. The plan is to defend for a bit and then we'll attack Uppsala. Once we kill enough Mongolian units. We might want some units on the south side of Osaka. Yep. If only to protect our caravan. Like this. We will definitely get a daimyo out of this war. We only need 16 more great general points. So that's going to happen easily. And then I could take Mount Kilimanjaro back. Or I could just take Turfan. It's probably better to just take Turfan and not waste a great general for this. Farm. And kill the barbarian. Also. Yeah, worker before Colosseum, probably. I think I'll pick up Monarchy with my next policy. I was going to work on Honor, but we kind of need Monarchy for the happiness. And I want the Tradition Finisher as well. To make our cities grow a little bit faster. So that's what we're going to do. Nice Keshik, bro. Let's just kill it. Like so. Can we kill it on this turn? Maybe, maybe not. I think we can. No, actually we can't. Or can we? Nope. Almost, but not quite. But we got a daimyo, so that's nice. The Kashyyyk will die on the next turn. And... Well, that's that. Horses to Pedro. Right. Who's going to buy our horses? Pedro will. That's going to be... Oh, yeah, we have a lot of horses. 135 gold from him. Anyone else? Alex would buy our horses, but we don't have the creation of friendship with him. Can we get the creation of friendship with him? No. Okay, well, let's sell some horses anyway. Like this. Good enough. And I could sell one more to Pedro, or we can wait for him to get 67 gold. That's probably a better idea. Okay, as for this guy, how's this city doing? It could actually use a camp on this tile. It's currently set to production because we're in negative happiness, but it could definitely use a camp. But I also have to finish a road to Tokyo. Okay, back to Osaka. Let's kill that Keshik before he gets a chance to run away. Like so, very nice. We'll probably lose that caravan. That's going to be tough to prevent. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Where's our scout composite bomber? Which guy was that? This guy, right, okay. So he can move more than usual. He's very, very close to logistics. I want to get logistics on him ASAP. Okay, this is a heal. So let's move that catapult here. The jungle is almost removed. And send one more composite woman south. Sounds good. Fortify. Fortify until healed. And next. I'll just let the Mongols throw units at me for now. Okay. Kill that Keshik first, or the pikeman actually. We can kill the pikeman. And let's get logistics. We got logistics, awesome. I could go for a plus one range, but logistics will be so much better. We can attack like that, and probably back up. Yeah, let's back up a bit. Attack with the catapult, and stay where we are. So, pikeman or Keshik? I could kill the pikeman with my warrior, it's a little bit risky. But I don't think the Keshik will be able to kill the warrior. Although, he might be able to. Interesting. 
Let's do it like this. That will be slightly safer. Yep, and stay where we are. I'm glad I got that daimyo. We can definitely use the bonus. Kill that barbarian already. The circus is done, so worker is next. And we will get the tradition finisher right now. That gives us some more happiness. And we can change our tile assignments a bit. To make the cities grow again. Like so. This one also needs to grow. I should just buy that fish. But we might need the gold for something else. Okay, what about Tokyo? Tokyo also needs to grow. So let's change all of these. Lock all the food. The cow. That's four more those. We can lock the pastures. That leaves us with two more citizens. The silk and the sheep. Sounds good. 15 hammers is decent enough. And what about Osaka? How's Osaka doing? Just keep it on production focus. We need a pasture on that ship to the east. Yes, I noticed Mongolia is causing problems. <laughs> Tell me something new. But yeah, they are not at war with Sweden anymore. Just with England. Oh, great general. Unprotected. Well, we can't kill him unfortunately, but we can do some damage. We can kill the pikemen. Hold on, I can kill one of these guys. Can we kill both? No. We can kill one of them though. It's probably worth it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. They have three great generals around here. Well, cans, whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. Right, we finished chopping the jungle. Now, I would improve that sheep, but it's not a very safe thing to do right now. It's probably better to just get a mine or something. Yeah, let's just get a mine. And keep that warrior inside the city. We got barrage free, nice. And let's move north then. Uppsala is still the target. Our happiness seems to be fine right now. Might be a good idea to get another catapult. We only have one at the moment, which is not amazing. We can always finish the Colosseum later. Accept. Another Keshik is coming. I want to take at least Uppsala from this war. If we can take Turfan, that would be amazing. But we'll see if that's going to happen or not. Kill that Keshik. Can we kill it? Where's the logistics guy? There he is. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Okay, down he goes. Need to repair that mine. In that case. Well, are we actually working it? No, we are not. So it's not a priority. Alright, Uppsala. There are some more units coming. He does have trebuchets. So we probably want to hurry up with this. We definitely want to hurry up with this. We don't have the daimyo, so that's going to be helpful. Attack the Keshik. I would prefer to move towards Uppsala, but... Let's start doing some damage to the Keshik. Maybe flank it. And fortify. Okay, looks good. Oh, their empire is very unhappy. Okay. Interesting. That's very good for us. Well, we can't see it from here. It's a little bit too early. We can't quite kill that Keshik. But now they are kind of screwed. Unless they fix their happiness. Alright. Our shade route got plundered, but I pretty much expected that. We don't have that many options for decent shade routes. We'll just replace it later, it's fine. New decisions available. Anything interesting? Oh yeah, we could pick up culture and science again. If I want to. It's once per era, so there's no huge rush. But I might pick that up. Well, let's finish theology first. I might pick it up to speed up education. That seems like a good idea. Another Keshik? Well, now he pillaged our citrus. That's not very nice. Okay, then. I can probably deal with him. Okay, let's just attack it twice, like so. And I can kill him with my warrior. Would be nice to capture that worker if possible. But he's probably going to run away. 
Anyway, back to Uppsala. Not sure about this. Would be nice to get logistics on more than one unit. The catapult needs to heal. And we need to back up out of bombardment range. I wouldn't want to lose my pikemen for obvious reasons. Okay. The creation of friendship with Othsia expired. We'll extend it, no problem. Can we sell anything right now? Not really, no. I need to repair that citrus because we're at one happiness only. Which is not a lot. And we aren't building any colosseums at the moment. We got theology, so education is next. Barrage free. Let's keep attacking Uppsala. We'll definitely need the help from the catapult, that's for sure. And another Keshik is coming. Yeah, we won't be getting that warrior. I mean worker. That's for sure. You guys need to heal up. You also need to heal up. If we get a second catapult, this will be much faster. Sweden wants to attack Pakal. Okay, I don't really want Sweden to attack Pakal. Research agreement, yes, accept. If Sweden attacks Pakal, he will almost definitely take Tikal. I would prefer to take Tikal myself. So, yeah. And yes, the Mongols actually took Sigduna. I'm still looking at that worker. But I don't want to risk losing the warrior. Yeah, he's just a warrior, but he does have cover too. So he's kind of valuable. It's not that easy to get cover too. Anyway, back to Uppsala. Should be fine to attack with 43 hit points. Where did that Keshik go? Well, I'm a little bit nervous about attacking with this little health. But we can attack once. It's fine. They can't do 43 damage with city bombardment. We got the cotton. Oh, that was good timing. I still want to repair that citrus, but it's not very safe right now. Definitely not. Maybe chop a forest. This is a grassland, so I'll want a farm on that tile. And speeding up that lighthouse would be nice. Okay, we'll chop the forest. Yep, we're fine. Cutting it close, but we're fine. I'll do trades on my turn. Let's check the trades then. We can sell silver and we can sell some iron. I should probably keep one iron because we will be getting iron working after education. So that seems like a good idea. Brazil will buy some. Well, just one for 67. I prefer flat gold and I'm not in a rush to sell all of that. We can sell another one to Austria. So that's 67 again. And we'll keep the remaining two. I'll probably want more than just one swordsman. So yeah. And sell silver. For 7 gold per turn. Sounds good. No, 7 gold per turn. And she should give us a little bit of gold on top of that. Yep. Okay, good. Now you need to back up, that's for sure. And that other guy will replace you. Okay, just chill back here. Inside our territory. And we can start attacking already. Uppsala should be ours. In two, maybe three turns. I'll try to not lose any units while attacking the city. But we'll see about that. Okay, let's move in this general direction. I could move in with both pikemen, but I would prefer to heal this guy up one more time. Yep, okay, chop the forest and caravan. Where do I want to send that caravan? Good question. It's not very safe to send it to Helsinki. I might send it to my own city. To Tokyo, for example. That's not a terrible idea. I might just send it to Tokyo. To make it grow faster. Alright, let's send it to Tokyo. I don't want the Mongols to pillage it. That's a bit of a waste of production. Yeah, we are cutting it a little bit close with these units. Need to back up. I hope we can take it fast enough. That Keshik inside the city is a little bit annoying. I'm glad we have logistics on this guy. I think this is going to be enough 
damage on the next turn, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Only one way to find out. Now you need to back up. But, well, if I want him inside my territory, on the next turn I should move this dude out of the way. Just move him into Osaka. Alright, looks good. Plus one population in Kyoto, nice. I think it's time to buy that fish, because we kind of need it. And we got 20 turns until city border growth. We might not even get that fish with the next border growth. So get the fish, and this city will grow nicely now. Nagoya doesn't have the lighthouse yet, but I'll probably want to buy that fish after it gets the lighthouse. Next. So question is, can we also take Turfan? Once we're done with this. Because I still want my Mount Kilimanjaro back. That's kind of the whole point of this war. We'll try. It shouldn't be too hard to take Turfan, but this is a jungle, obviously. This is not a hill. Oh yeah, nice. Promotion. We'll take cover one. Can we take Uppsala now? Let's pick up Volley for some extra damage. It might actually make a difference right now. Yeah, I think it actually made a difference. We can take Uppsala. I might have to attack twice. No, it's ours. So I could liberate it, but I see no reason to do that. It's a very good city. I'd rather take it myself. Now, we will drop to minus one happiness. Which I suppose is okay. We just need to repair that citrus. I could peace out and then declare war again in 15 turns. I'm not sure if one catapult is going to be enough. It might not be. Kind of sucks because I really want Mount Kilimanjaro back and I want my iron. But I'm not convinced we can take Turfan easily. We can try, but I don't know. If I can get some gold from the Mongols, it's probably worth signing a peace treaty. Get some gold and then we can declare war again in 15 turns. That gives me some time to get more catapults. So are they willing to pay? Oh, we can't even negotiate yet, right. Three more turns, alright. Whatever. We got another promotion, so cover one. Are we close to another daimyo? Yes and no. We're about halfway there. If I get another daimyo, I could just consider stealing Mount Kilimanjaro back with a citadel. But I would prefer to take Turfan because I want to take Turfan anyway. So it feels like a bit of a waste of a general. Alright, this is the scout guy. Attack. What's their military manpower anyway? Oh, they are still number one. Alright, whatever. I thought they might be running out of units, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Definitely not. Carry on with the road. We definitely want to finish that ASAP. Yeah, let's speed this up a bit. I want to connect my cities to get the gold. And I think we should change our cities to production. Yep. Seeing how we're at minus one. So change to production. We'll get the Colosseum in six turns. I could probably buy a luxury. No. Well, unless he decides to sell it. Nope. Okay, we'll just wait for the Colosseum. And stay at war with the Mongols. Does Sweden still have peace shitty? Probably. I don't think it's been 15 turns. Nope. It's not been 15 turns. I actually kind of hope that Sweden will not declare war on Pakal. I think I'll decline this. I still want to attack Pakal myself at some point. Possibly once we're done with the Mongols. So decline. Tikal is a nice city, I want it. And even if Sweden takes Tikal, I'll want to take Palenque. New decisions. Right, let's pick up the culture and science. That will speed up education a little bit. Not a whole lot. Alright, do it. 
How's the Tekken I'm King anyway? 29. The Mongols are actually in the lead, really? Interesting. That doesn't happen very often. Well, that's yet another reason to take Durfar, to hurt the Mongols. They currently have seven cities. Okay. Where the heck are all their yogis? Good question. I could just start attacking Turfan right now. Not sure how safe he's going to be. Let's heal up first. Yeah, I don't want to start attacking it just with one catapult. We'll wait for the other yonis. We are about to finish the other catapult. And I still want to repair that stupid citrus. No yonis around, so hopefully we can do that. Plus 30 hammers for Nagoya, that will speed up the lighthouse. No open borders for you, buddy. Ostia seems to be friendly with Sweden. So this should be a farm. We need more food near this city. We do have some decent tiles with food, but since we chopped that jungle already, might as well build a farm. Go repair that citrus. So... Oh, okay, there's a Keshik inside the Turfan. Would be nice to bait that Keshik out. I mean, I'm not in a huge rush to attack Turfan. We will get that catapult. I could then get yet another one. And I want to heal the composite bowman back to full. So let's just chill back here for a turn or two. To see if the Keshik is going to move towards us. We are still healing up. Nope, I think he stayed inside the city. Macho Picchu, we don't know which city built that. There's the catapult. We could get one more, or we could just focus on that Colosseum now. Two catapults might be enough, or they might not be, it's hard to tell. We'll find out. Okay. Can we get any more research agreements? Does Brazil have education? Olá. Nope, not yet. Okay then. Any trades we can do? Can we get the creation of friendship with Sweden again? Yes, we can. So Sweden does have education, but he doesn't have enough money for a research agreement. I could give him some money. If I really want that research agreement ASAP, which I kind of do. Yeah, I really do, actually. Let's just give him some gold. And we'll take some gold per turn. Probably two gold per turn. Unless I give him some extra. Yeah, okay. How much he needs exactly? 125. Not the best deal ever, but it's just to get the research agreement. There, done. We got two research agreements running now. We need to get these universities ASAP as soon as we finish education. We are a little bit behind in science. Which is exactly why I wanted that research agreement. So, Torfan. Nagoya demands Wales. Okay, nothing interesting going on. I still need to get that silver to the north. Might have to buy that tile. So, since I don't think we'll be taking Karakorum, we can pillage some of this stuff. Oh, he has longswordsmen now. Well, we need to hurry up. If we want to take Turfan. Move in with the catapults. There's still a Keshik inside the city. It's kind of risky. One thing I could do is buy this tile and then get a citadel here on top of the iron. Well, no, we wanted to get Mount Kilimanjaro then, never mind. Damn it. It's so annoying. This feels like a complete waste of a general stealing Mount Kilimanjaro with a citadel. I would really prefer to take Turfan. But with that Keshik inside, I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced. At least they don't have tradition. Oh, 
I don't know. I'm going to decide in the next part. So thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you next time.